Well, from ghost kitchens to wrong home titles, our 11 Investigates team has some stories tonight that you don't want to miss. Do not turn away. Lead investigator Brian Duggar and investigative reporter Kaylee Marantad, both in studio with us. And Brian, I know you've been looking into a story about food. What can you tell us about this one? Yeah, ghost kitchens. Sounds a little scary, right? And actually, they can be. Some established restaurants run ghost kitchens out of their own kitchens. In Toledo, there are dozens of ghost kitchens, and we found one restaurant that has had more than a dozen ghost kitchens. So why? Some are because the brand doesn't want the overhead of a sit-down restaurant, so they rent space and just deliver their food. But for some owners, it's about market share on delivery apps. An established restaurant may have a wing brand, a pizza brand, a burger brand, more brands, better chances that someone will click on them when scrolling through those delivery apps. But these are just names. You won't find storefronts with those names or their food inspection reports. People try to reach out to them and they're like ghosts. We're hoping to have that story for you next week. Now, Kaylee, you just had a call. 11 for action story last night. Have you heard anything since that story ran? I actually have. So the managers of that park, Lori Edwards, they went to her home and told her they're working to fix that title. That was after our story aired to get all the information correct and in her name. If you missed yesterday's story, Lori Edwards, a homeowner in Sylvania, was told to call us after information on her mobile home title didn't match what the auditor's real estate information had online. Her title stating that her home was a 1976 region. You can see it right there. While online, it shows it's a 1997 mansion fiesta. This would have been easy to find out which one was accurate if the data label inside her kitchen cabinet wasn't ripped off. That would have told us the year and model. It took a lot of phone calls and a trip to the clerk of courts, but we were finally able to figure out it was an error on the owner's side when they transferred the home to her and they are working to get her a new title. And Lori told me the big hang up for her is she can't sell this house if it doesn't match what the auditor has. Yeah, and we have a lot more stories coming up in the next few weeks, including speeding in the glass city. Have you ever gotten a speeding ticket from Toledo police in the last three years? You might actually be surprised by some of the numbers that we found.